Hello students, welcome back to Capman Academy and today we are going to talk about food brownie. So you must have seen sometimes the food colors it changes into the brown color. And this reaction is very common. It always occurs in certain type of food material. Right? So that is why today we are going to talk about what is the reason for the changes in the color of food material which leads to the food brownie. So first of all, food browning is categorized into two types. First category is called enzymatic, enzymatic food browning and second category is called non-enzymatic enzymatic food browning. So now let's discuss one by one each of the category. So first of all, enzymatic food browning. So this one is also known as by the name of oxidation of food, right? And it occurs in the presence of enzymes, enzymes such as your polyphenol, polyphenol oxidase enzyme or catechol oxidase enzyme, catechol oxidase enzyme, right? Sometimes they are also known as PPO enzyme, right? And when this oxidation of food occurs, it actually leads to the changes in the taste of the food, smell of the food, and especially color of the food. Right? And it also affects the values of the food. So during this oxidation of food, certain type of molecules were actually produced, which are melanin and benzoinone compounds. And these two compounds, they are actually brown in color. So, because of the formation of melanin and benzoquinone, the food material color changes into the brown colors. So, if we see the total reaction, how the enzymatic food browning is happening. So, in this case, certain type of foods, they contain phenolic compounds in it. Right? And when these phenolic compounds, they actually come in the contact of oxygen, then PPO enzymes, they get activated and they leads to the formation of brown pigments. Brown pigments, which are your melanin pigments. Right? So here it could be PPO enzyme or it could be phenolase or catechol oxidase enzyme. So they all leads to the brown pigment formation which are finally your melanin compounds. Right? So because of this reason, because enzymes here are responsible for the food browning, this one reaction is also called enzymatic oxidative, oxidative food brown right so for example let's talk about the apples as you can see in this image right so when you actually cut these apples after a certain time it changes its color into the brown colors so why this is happening because apples it also contain phenolic compounds in it Right? And when it comes under the contact of the oxygen, it leads to the melanin formation by the activation of phenolase, your polyphenol oxidase enzyme. Same way it happens in bananas, avocados, right? And other type of food materials. So these phenolic compounds, they come under the category of, they could be Caffeic acids present in the food material, chlorogenic acid, genic acid, 
right? Or they could be flavonoid. So they all leads to the food browning of the food material, right? But in some times, in certain time, the food material, food browning, you can categorize into two types. It could be your non-beneficial food browning. It could be your beneficial food browning. So non-beneficial food browning here means when your food material, they will turn into brown color, they actually get spoiled. They won't be, you won't be able to consume them. Whereas in case of beneficial food browning, in this case, when the food browning occurs, it leads to its benefits and we can actually consume these type of food. You must have seen your tea leaves they actually changes its color into brown, right? Even coffee also, it changes its color into brown, right? Then certain type of dried food, they also changes its color into the brown and all these are the part of your beneficial food browning, which is due to the enzymes, right? Another type of the food browning is your non-enzymatic food browning. So in case of non-enzymatic food browning, the name suggests here, there is no enzyme will be involved. So this type of reaction occurs without the enzyme activation, right? And their example here is number one. You must have heard about Maillard reaction. First example is Maillard reaction in which the protein residues, especially amino acids, they actually interact with sugar molecule. Especially sugar means non-reducing, sorry, reducing sugar molecules, right? And when they actually interact with each other, protein plus sugars, they actually leads to the formation of brown color pigment. So this type of reaction is actually known as Maillard reaction, right? And it is used for the production of different type of flavors, and aromas in the food industry, especially in the breads. As you can see here, in this case, simple bread is being changed into the brown color, right? Or it also used in the steaks browning or potato browning, right? Another example of the food browning, non-enzymatic food browning here is your caramelization. Caramelization. So this is also occurs without the presence of any enzyme and also known as pyrolysis of sugars. So in this case, what happens? A volatile compound is released. A volatile compound is released during what? During the heating of sugars at higher temperatures, which is 160 degree centigrade. And it happens without water. So in this case, no water is involved. So when the volatile compounds are actually released during the heating of sugars at high temperature without the presence of water. This type of reaction is called pyrolysis of sugars. And this reaction actually, it leads to the formation of brown color in sugars. Brown color in sugars. Right? And it also forms 
पर्टिकुलर फ्लेवर्स नटी फ्लेवर्स और समटाइम इट इज नोन एज कैरमल फ्लेवर राइट एन अदर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द नॉन एग्जामेटिक फूड ब्राउनिंग हेयर इज योर ऑक्सीडेशन प्रोडक्ट ऑक्सीडेशन प्रोडक्ट सो इन दिस केस डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ ऑक्सीडेशन रिएक्शन अकर्स विदाउट द प्रेजेंस ऑफ एंजाइम्स फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल हेयर इज द एस्कॉर्विक एसिड एस्कॉर्विक एसिड ब्राउनिंग we all know ascorbic acid which is a vitamin c it's very reactive and it actually leads to the food browning in food products right and it occurs by the oxidation another type of oxidation products are formed because of lipid browning which is also re result of the oxidation in this case in the presence of oxygen fatty acids actually react fatty acids which are unsaturated fatty acids they actually react with oxygen and leads to the oxidation products formation which could be your aldehydes aldehydes or ketones so when they actually react with amino acids they lead to the formation of brown pigments brown pigments so here they again causing the food browning in the food material right so these are the very important food browning processes which are actually used in the food industry as you can see maillard reaction is used for the production of different type of flavors and aroma same way caramelization is also used for the production of different type of flavors in different type of food material so these are the two important reactions which occurs in the food products some of the reactions leads to the food spoilage and some of the reaction leads to the food quality improvement so this is about the food browning that's all for the today thank you